guys, you know how this works. You request, I give. And so a friend of mine requested my everyday makeup tutorial kind of look. I don't wear makeup every day. On a good week, I wear it probably twice. So this is more of the, of the simplistic look that I would wear to work if I felt like getting up and doing my makeup, that kind of thing. My brows are already done. I start with priming my eye with Max Groundwork. That's a paint pot. And typically, I just mix a little bit of my foundation with my moisturizer and I rub it on my skin with my hand because, yes, I am that lazy when it comes to my everyday makeup kind of routine. So... You'll see me rubbing it on my face here, and I just took a lighter foundation, probably one to two skin tones lighter than my natural skin color, and I use that as my highlight. We don't want anything too intense since this is kind of like an everyday and we're not going full glam. And I just use that in the areas where I would usually highlight, so you know, under the eye, down the center of the nose, a little bit on the forehead, on top of the cupid's bow, as well as the chin. And I'm using my damp beauty blender just to blend that out. And I do go over my eye with that color as well, since we won't be using any eyeshadow, um, just to kind of set the um, base that we put on there. I go in with my foundation color. This particularly is the MAC Studio Fix in NW48. I just set my entire face with that and then I make sure I buff it in really nicely because like I said, I am super oily, so that minimizes the shine. I go in with Banana Powder by who, Ben Nye and I use my same damp beauty blender. I didn't wet it again or anything of that nature. I just went into the Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm putting that where I put the highlighted color. And then I'm also going my eyelids as well because we need to set that foundation and the Max Paint Pot that we put on there. I'm going in with Raisin by MAC, and I'm just kind of contouring a little bit. On my skin tone, I really don't think it makes sense to say bronzing, so I just always say contouring. Um, so this is just Raisin by MAC, and I'm using that to kind of add some color back into my face. And I take a dual fiber brush. This one is from e.l.f. I think it was like three bucks. No big deal. Walmart, Target, you know, anywhere they sell e.l.f. You can pick this up at. And I just gently dust that banana powder away. And I go in with a just a tiny wing, nothing too intense. This is an e.l.f. Uh, it's like a felt tip eyeliner pen. I absolutely hate it. I usually use NYC's liquid liner. The felt tip pen, it gets too raggedy too soon. So... It, it gives me a lot of problems, so I'm not too much of a fan of that. So I do the wing liner, and then I add a little bit of blush. You can use whatever color you want. And then to kind of open my eyes up, I'll go in the inner corner, and only on the inner corner, with a gold or some type of matte vanilla shade, just to kind of widen my eye up. And sometimes I mix them. On here, you'll see me mix them. I went down with the gold first, and then I went on top with that nude kind of color. Um, I think it's from Wet n Wild or something like that, and you'll see... I'm just pointing out where I'm, I'm missing lashes at. Uh, but you'll see how that widens the eyes and opens it up. It makes you look a little bit more fresh and a lot more awake. And then I go into my under brow. Under brow? Is that like what it's called? Anyway, I go in under my brow and I set that, any type of cream that we had up there from carving out the brow and things of that nature, I just set it and I used Limit from the Naked 3 palette and I'm just bluff, buffing that in, not blushing that in, but I'm buffing it in and I'm, you know, making sure everything is set up there and there you have it. That's what I typically do for everyday makeup tutorials, so. And typically this is what I would do, so just a little bit of liner, mascara, brows, um, you know, same situation with the highlight contour, but a lot less. So this is, I guess you can say my everyday makeup type of situation. I'm just now getting home from work, so I don't even care that my shirt's messed up and I'm not going to change or anything. So there you have it, folks. All right, that's all. I am signing off. I'm going to wash this off and then get to making some wigs and stuff. So I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know how to reach me. But other than that, y'all, I am dog tired. So I'm going to take all this off, start on my wig, and then when I'm done with that, I will go to bed. So thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Bye, guys.